workout. Now, you do not need any equipment for this workout, but if you wanna add some dumbbells for extra resistance, let's go for it. Uh, we do have one exercise that we're gonna do on the floor, so if you need a mat, pull that out, but just kind of set it out of the way, okay? Let's get right into this. I'm just gonna do about a minute here, making sure everything is loosened up in that lower body, so just give me some butt kickers. So we have five exercises that we're gonna do. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We do it two rounds through, and then this workout's gonna be complete. All right, let's do some knee drives up to the front, just warming up those hip flexors. Good. Again, weights are totally optional here, but you will see me using mine through some of the moves. Good, and let's just do some hip rotation. So up and out, other side. Nice, loosen up those hips. One more on each side. And then let's just twist it out here. Make sure the lower back is loosened up. We'll be using a little bit of lower back here in some of these squats. So I wanna make sure it's good and loose. All right, let's do a couple of these big deep breaths in, and then exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, come up. Good, we're gonna do three more together. Again, bending the knees as much as you need to. Feeling that nice stretch in the backs of the legs and in that lower back. Last one. Good. All right, let's get right into this. Let me show you the first move. So we're gonna do a walking squat. If you wanna hold two weights or one weight, go for it, but again, Everything's optional, or the dumbbells are optional. We're gonna come up for four, okay? Four steps up, either calf raise or jump, okay? Then we're gonna walk it back for four. Again, calf raise or jumping in the front and the back, all right? Get ready. I'm gonna hold one weight, I think. Let's lead with the right leg this round. Ready, set, go. Get into that squat, walk it up four times. Again, you're either gonna calf raise or jump, then bring it back. Good. So if you're adding the jump, think about landing soft right back into that squat. Awesome. Keep it low as you're moving forward and back. Nice work. 20 seconds. You got it, you got it. Okay, legs are already talking, right? Yep, me too. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, again, two weights, one weight, up to you. Let's do right foot forward, right foot back. You need to hold on to the wall for balance. So we're gonna lunge here. Forward, same foot, comes to the back. Okay, get ready. Let's go. Hold your weight wherever you like. And you guys know, if you've done workouts with me before, you know your range of motion is gonna be up to you and your body. So if you need to keep it up a little bit higher, that's okay. Just do what feels the best to you. Move at your own pace. Good, good, 15. Getting that heart rate up too here, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay, so we're gonna do that to the other side. Let me show you another option. If you wanna take it there, especially as we do that second round. So instead of tapping right here, you can do a knee up drop, all right? Ready, let's go. So tap it in the center or knee up drive. Whatever you like. Again, and maybe you don't want to hold weights. Maybe you need to hold on to a chair or the wall for balance. That doesn't mean that you're not getting the most out of this. Okay, this just means you're going where it's best for you. 20 more seconds. Breathe. Good. Awesome. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, and 
down one really good okay now we're going to go into a side lunge so we're going to take it side to side so big wide stance i want you to lunge out to the right push your hips back butt back so you're hinging there at the hip one knee's bent one leg straight shift it over other side so going side to side let's go if you have a weight i want you just to shift it again side to side kind of like you're just tossing it from one hand to the other good push those hips back keep that core strong we want to protect that lower back 20 more seconds so good so good push those hips back so 10 more seconds we're going to go to that floor exercise so grab your mat if you need it that'll be our fifth one and then we're going to come back and repeat it three two one good weight's optional here if you want it great if not do this body weight take your weight if you haven't put it on your hips we're going to lift up come up onto the toes for a calf raise drop the heels then the hips let's go lift up on the toes and down up toes heels down push lift yes you got it move at your own pace really want you to think about though squeezing the glutes and then squeezing those calves if your feet start to kind of slide away from you just readjust 10 more seconds so good you guys five four three two and one awesome work okay that's halfway point we're coming right back up right into it for round two one more round here are you with me get set let's go get into that squat four steps forward either calf raise or jump good move at your own pace this is your workout it's all about you right now good 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 and if you had a band a mini band this would be an awesome move to add that to adding in that extra resistance it's all about challenging yourself again whatever that may look like for you today 10 seconds let's do one more forward and back come on I'm right there with you and time very good okay we're gonna go into those forward and back lunges again add that knee drive if you want it ready let's go add the weights if you want it really focus on that form here though okay so notice my knees pretty much in that forward lunge stay over my ankle same thing when I go into that reverse lunge you want to think about the same thing drive the hips down yes 15 Woo! my legs are burning how about yours good good five four three two one you did so good okay we do that to the other side Woo. and again i'm breathing heavy here heart rate's up for sure other side last time go go Strong legs, strong legs. Stay with it, 20 more seconds. Keep those lungs open, breathe. Almost there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four three two 
one. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna take it to those side to side lunges. Add a weight if you want. All right, get in that big wide stance here. Remember, push the hips back. Let's go. Left to right. Good. Think about those outer thighs. Think about the inner thighs. That's what we're mainly working here. Good. Now without the weight, you're going here. 20 more seconds, come on. Push through, push through. One more move after this. We've got that bridge coming up in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, guys, come on down to the floor. Got to get that sweat towel out now. Definitely sweating. All right, we're going in three, two, one, go. So lift, come up on the toes, drop the heels, then down. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. So I want you squeezing under, right at the bottom, those butt cheeks, yes. Squeeze, get the most out of this. You got it, you got it. 20 more seconds. I'm with you, come on. Ten more seconds. Lift, squeeze. Five, four, three. Let's do one more together. And release. Woo! All right. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Just stay right down here on the floor with me. So, that was an awesome 10 minutes. You could be done right there, maybe move on to another workout. But if you really want to focus in on those legs today and, and glutes, go ahead and repeat this workout. That would give you four total rounds in 20 minutes, an awesome leg day, okay? And then maybe you need to stretch it out. So I'm gonna link that here for you. That way you can take it into a cool down and stretch if you want. Thank you guys so much for joining. You did awesome. I can't wait to see you in the next workout. Again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.